Hello everyone, in this video we're going to be solving this uh, problem that's related to the colligative properties. To be specific, it's related to the freezing point depression and the boiling point elevation. So the question says, what would be, be uh, what will be the freezing point and the boiling point of an aqueous solution that contains 25 grams of KCl and 250 grams of water? And we're given the Kf and the Kb for the water. Well, before we do anything, just figure out what those formula is going to be. So for the freezing point, so let's just focus on that first. The freezing point formula is delta T is going to be equal to I molality times the Kf. If I can figure out what the I going to be and what the molality going to be, I should be able to figure out the delta T and we can go from there. We already know what Kf is. So I, for this particular salt, so remember this is a KCl, so KCl you know is going to be broken down into two ions. So KCl, if I write that down on the side here, will break into K plus and Cl minus. So the expected value of I or the expected Van Hal factor value here is going to be 2. Now it may not be necessarily 2 because of the ion pairs, but you always go with the expected unless you're told otherwise in the question. So then what's going to be the molality? So the molality for this particular question or for this particular solution, KCL solution is going to be uh, the moles of KCL divided by kilograms of water. So we don't really have moles of KCL. So you want to go ahead and figure out what the moles of KCL are going to be because you're given the mass of the KCL or the grams of KCL. So how do you really figure out so how do you really figure out the moles if you give them the mass? That goes back to the mole templates. So remember you use the molar mass. So the molar mass of KCL, so potassium is gonna be 39.1 and the chlorine is 35.5 roughly so let's see that's going to be so the molar mass is going to be 74.6 grams per mole so that's what we're going to be using here so it's going to be you write down moles on the top because that's what you're trying to figure out and then you write down 74.6 grams of KCl on the bottom so it's going to be 25 divided by 74.6, so it's 0.335 moles of KCl. So I can go back and figure out the molality now, so it's going to be 0.335 moles of KCl. Divide that by kilograms of water, so you're given 250 grams of water, so what's going to be the kilograms then? Well, that's just going to be 0.25 kilograms of water because you always do the solvent in case of molality. So your molality at the end of the day is going to be 1.34 molar Okay, so then we can go back and use that molality to calculate the delta T now. So delta T is going to be I is 2 molality is going to be 1.34 molar and then your Kf is going to be 1.86 degrees Celsius over the molality. So here you can clearly see that molality cancels out and that leaves you with let's say 2 times 1.34 times 1.86 and that's going to be 4.98 so that's almost 5.0 degrees Celsius so that's your delta T. So what's going to be your freezing point? So remember your normal freezing point for water is zero degrees Celsius. So that's something you're expected. You're supposed to know what's the normal boiling point and freezing point of water is. So then your new freezing point is going to be five units below the actual normal freezing point, which is zero. So your norm, a new freezing point is going to be minus five degrees Celsius. So that's how you're going to be calculating. You always go below when you're doing the freezing point. Now, similarly, if I want to calculate the boiling point, the 
formula is going to be I M K B. And uh, we have pretty much everything. So it's probably going to be a good idea if you can pause the session and figure out what that delta T is going to be here. So your I still stays the 2. Your M is still going to be 1.34 molality. And then your KB for water is 0.512 degrees Celsius over mole. So then your delta T in this particular case is 1.37 degrees Celsius because your molar will cancel out here. So now what's going to be your new boiling point here? Remember the normal boiling point for water is 100. So you always increase the boiling point when you add a solute into the, the water. So since your boiling point is going to increase, it's going to go up by 1.37. So you always do 100 plus 1.37. So you always increase the boiling point by that number and you always decrease the freezing point by whatever you get as a delta T. So this is going to be 101.37 degrees Celsius as your new boiling point. So that's how you're going to be calculating the freezing point depression and the boiling point elevation if you're given the amount of solute added in the given amount of water. If you have any questions, feel free to leave any comments in the section.